I told Bobby I wanted to deconstruct it. Holy gross, I don't want to breathe it. And he convinced me not to, but now I'm here by myself. This is the hoarder in me. I've ruined this table three times. I've ruined so much of the inlay. Make sure you guys stay till the end to see how this couch turned out. And if anybody missed some news earlier in the week, we launched Painterly with 12 new beautiful colors. This paint is a furniture artist paint. You guys can place your opening orders right now with a DIY paint retailer. Okay, you guys, let's jump into this video. Here we go. Stay here all day and get this done. So I asked Ellie to do all the editing. Normally we do it half and half. We are in crunch mode. So that means you get to see me again without any makeup. I don't even have a tripod. All I want to tell you is that we have less than seven days. You're going to see the other side of the yard and how good it looks. I'm over here in the classroom area. This is the most important area and it, it needs a lot of work. It's hot, it rained yesterday. We are in the final crunch. We want to show you all the details. Tomorrow I don't work, so that means the rest of today and three more days and that's it. So Ellie's got to edit the video. You got this Debbie. You just get that store cleaned up. It's a whole day of go time. Are you ready? We have new merchandise to put out. We pretty much sold out of all the IOD Christmas stuff. The area that we are going to focus on today. We are going to paint this part of the deck that needs to be painted. We are going to bring all the candle supplies out and get them ready for pickup and reorganize things. These are all the 45 pound boxes of wax for our candle maker who's coming. Like I am not kidding when I said I had a lot. A lot of you were coming up with solutions like have a candle making party. We'd have to have a candle making party of great magnitude. <laughs> They're going to a good home. I'm really happy about it. Okay, I was driving to the store and this little lovely piece is here. There is an issue right there. Debbie, please walk away. Looks like it'll just go right back in. It's wobbly, but I think Bobby or Grandpa could fix it. This is an item that I am gonna take. Yeah, I know it doesn't make sense. I'm going to the store to get rid of all the candle supplies and then I stop to get something, but those kind of things can easily be painted and flipped and it will be good for my new inlay as well. So here we go, let's go to the shop. Everyone, this is the lovely lady Nika who is taking all of the candle supplies. Yes, we are. How It'll can be a busy week? <laughs> so, how can people find you and see how beautiful your candles are? Uh, well, under my own name, uh, so we're Nika's Country Candles, and I'm on Facebook and Instagram and just messaging. You know, it's the way of the world nowadays. I am one of the most picky people. I think on the planet and I've literally looked at every candle. Nika's are my favorite. Who is this little cutie? This is Winnie the Pooh. We're gonna have candles for my big launch party, you guys. So if you wanna see them in real life, we'll put them on the website too. Yay! Yes. Good Thanks. pricing, good smells, long lasting. All the stuff that you want from those candles you buy at Michael's and you never get the good result. <laughs> yes, here is what they've got so far. Now they're loading up the cab. All of these, are they gonna do it? Kitty, are you ready to make candles? Here they go. Bye-bye candle supply. We can start the organizing and the decorating. Working again. Working hard, but he's got the weekend off. Hey, Dad, what are you gonna do with the rest of your day off? I'm gonna rest. <laughs> <laughs> Take Levi to the park? Yeah, it yeah. just goes crazy. And he knows which road I have to take to get to the park. And just before we get there, he starts going. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, Levi? Is that true? <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah. Bobby's manhandling my furniture. Whoa, demoing the hopeless. Saving the hardware, getting it all cleaned up for the classroom situation. Bobby, how do you, how do you feel? <laughs> this poor sofa that we painted, it was under the tarp, but water got to it, obviously damaged it. And I told Bobby I wanted to deconstruct it and plant it with succulents, and he convinced me not to. But now I'm here by myself. 
I should be working on all of this, which is getting better. I've been ripping this apart because it's just, I think it's gonna be really good. And look at the skeleton, it's so beautiful with the springs and the bones showing. I think it could be amazing. When Ellie watches this footage as she edits this, she's gonna be upset. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> How it's do you- moldy, gross. I don't wanna breathe it. But do you understand why I have to save it? No, do you don't think, do it. Do you think I'm a hoarder? Yeah, you're, <laughs> give, uh, I can't even be in the yard. So update, Bobby left and I was able to work on this thing a little bit more. I think I'm almost done and I just, I love the skeleton. I wanna put it on the front porch, maybe put some succulents in it but it's well worth it. You saw he got really upset when he saw me working on it. But I mean, it's gonna be pretty. This is the hoarder in me. We did get a lot organized. Also simultaneously painting those while I'm ripping that apart. We have been working so hard today, planting, pulling weeds, cleaning up. There's still a lot to do, but it is looking much better. A lot of new fun stuff has come in. The beach cottage is looking so good. A lot of these items are on the website. Okay, this is the project for today to get this all organized and set up for the classroom. Bobby gave me this picnic table. We need to drill a hole in it for the umbrella. We're gonna set up the little sofa right there for people to photo with. This is going on the other side of the yard. We need to set up tables, throw stuff away, organize. There's a lot to do. So last week, Debbie and I wanted to stage her new piece, but she actually didn't finish the sides yet. So we got to slap on a little bit of paint. She's using Kissing Booth and Old Flame in our new color. And the staging turned out beautiful. Debbie used so much of the new colors of Painterly in this piece and all of them work so good together and this paint is really made for DIY clay paint. It is blendable, you can use it on canvas, you can use it on furniture. It is just an amazing paint and we are so excited for you guys to get it in your hands. Again, you can order it through a DIY paint retailer and these will be shipping at the end of October. We are so excited and here is our little video of our launch from last week. Ready? ready to watch the video? Are you ready to see? Drum roll. Oh my gosh. Today we are releasing Painterly. <laughs> you are going to want to watch until the very end because we're having a giveaway with our brand new paint colors. The definition of Painterly is outside the rules of artistry. It's loose, non-traditional paint for anyone. It's an artist paint for furniture and canvas. Painterly and DIY clay base paint blend together perfectly like peanut butter and jelly. one week left to get a chance to win one of our new colors we are picking 12 winners you guys are definitely going to want to enter this challenge it's sunday again and we're making some tacos this is blue iris bohemian blue and then love language it's still wet but i am loving that bobby said he thought these pieces were really ugly i do not agree this is how they started off i mean yeah they needed some love but come on they're not bad hey nika brought us all these beautiful candles we have them all priced and ready to go redoing this little nook that needs to be reincorporated back into the nook. The master builder, he's building a table out of nothing. He had these <laughs> leftover legs, some wheels. Those were some kind of bifold doors. Now we're gonna give it a plank top. Dad, are you doing the impossible again? 
It'll be fine. <laughs> Ladies of YouTube. Shirtless today. I have recruited my dad. Dad, yeah. aren't you glad I saved the couch? No comment. <laughs> It is 8 a.m. We have eight days, nine days. I don't know. We got lots to do. I really like that. I want my dad to build a frame around the truck so we can pour gravel. The asphalt is not my favorite. So I wanna create more of a little environment like I've seen on Pinterest for the old trucks. I'm also gonna add a decrepit chair in there and maybe a crappy chandelier. Should be good. I have to finish the couch. I ordered a new rug. We need to doll up the porch. It's the first impression, and right now the impression is dirty and sad. These are the pillows that have been waiting for me for three days. These are the signs that Jenny's daughter painted yesterday, Jennifer. She's really good with color and handwriting, so we're gonna put them on a post and hang them back there. <laughs> cute in this little nook. This one, however, is not looking great. And this one really, really needs some help. I'm gonna move those sand jars and just doll up this area today. Area still needs some dolling up. Boat needs some new plants. I climbed back there and painted the back of that last night just because it was bothering me so much. Probably one of those things where nobody cares but me, but I had to do it. Here's a cute little moment. These are planters. They're not real shoes. They look really real, but they're made out of concrete or something. I wanna plant some of those today. So cute. For all of you who say I have a foot fetish and I show my feet too much, what about those? Those aren't my feet. Those are my feet. Got a ton of dish towels and a massive shipment of IOD that all needs to be put out. This is the classroom. I'm working on that chair. I can't show it to you because it has my new inlay on it. This is the table that grandpa built. Hey, we're getting ready to attach these. Looking pretty cute. Um, yes, sir. I need a quart of, <laughs> excuse me. Can you help me please? I need a quart of liquid patina, please. <laughs> And I only have cash. <laughs> Are you taking a nap on the job, Levi? Seven days. It's almost nine o'clock. I am at Home Depot. Gonna load up my car with these fresh, pretty plants to spruce up the joint. Car is loaded and we go to the bank and then to the shop. I came to the store before anyone got here so I could get some footage before the customers arrive of all the work we've done. Cottage number one, it is kind of a bohemian pink and green barn situation. We have all kinds of fun stuff in this barn. These cups right here, I've ordered them like six times. They're 10 and I love them. I think they're $8.95 each. So fun. Here's some of our dish towels. They are super popular. Dresser that I did a while ago. I have a full video on that. This is our new little plant station. So we're just gonna stock this up with a bunch of little house plants. It's our little demo bar. It's still a work in progress, but when the store is open, we want to have quick little demos that people can sit down and do. Not a paid class, but just a fun project so that people can try little things. And this is the Mermaid's Cottage. All our fun greeting cards, a lot of you have asked about them. They are on our website, which is DIYAgogo.com. Everything in here has a beachy vibe. There are Rose's cute shirts. A lot of really fun stuff. I had some made to say Solana Beach. We also have Peace, Love, and Mermaids. They're on the website too. 
there is that awesome fixture that my dad made in a video a while back. Do you remember that lamp that I did a long time ago on YouTube way back like six years ago? I had it in my house and then I decided to bring it over here. That's why it hasn't sold yet. This one is the Bohemian Victorian, I guess. That's kind of how I stage it. There is that dresser I did. This is with the new Painterly with Dreamville. Dresser I did a while ago with the bungalow transfer. Lots of fun stuff in here. Some bohemian pillows. Suitcase done with the IOD transfer. This is another little outdoor potting area. And here's a little outdoor nook. Another pair of the concrete planting shoes. And then these are so stinking cute. You could put a succulent inside or a candle. I think they're so fun for fall. $19 on the website. It's fun little bowls. I am obsessed with little bowls. These are $12. They're all hand painted. This thing I found at Kobe's. It's an old vintage painting. I love it. Ginny and Rose usually sit here and work on projects in between customers. Let's shell it out here. That's the front counter. Where you walk in, we have all of our IOD and our paint, decoupage paper, Jamie's paint. Come into here, there's the stencils, the smaller rice papers, molds. We're gonna have every mold out for the launch party. It's just gonna be like a all-day craft party. Everyone's getting one of their our new brushes through here. And this is the jewelry bar. And we have a little bit of clothing. This is the dress that I got to wear to the launch party. So mine is at home. I need to steam it but I bought some to sell and one for me. Behind these doors is my art studio and my office. I've gotta push all the tables into place. I gotta get my nails fixed before this thing happens. I gotta take my car to the car wash. I got a haircut, but I need to get some color on my roots. These doors is where the classroom is gonna be. We have cleaned it out, but it still needs a lot of work. We gotta set up all the tables and the workstations. We gotta put together the swag bags. We have six days left. So you can see all the tables and chairs are kind of piled up under here because it started to rain yesterday. The whole theme is pink and green. That's the photo staging area where the couch is gonna go. Look at this raggedy fence. I've got a list for my dad. I've got a list for me. I've got a list for Jenny. I'll have my dad build a couple shelves right here so people can dry their stuff because they're going to have multiple projects to work on. The reason I had to paint it three times is because I'm struggling with the inlay. All of my retailers, they are sharing pictures of their projects with my new inlay and they're beautiful. They're flawless. I've called Jamie Ray. I've called Ellen J. Goods. I've called Debbie Frimmer from Elsie Lane Boutique. I am a problem child when it comes to new stuff. I've ruined this table three times. I've ruined so much of the inlay. The only thing that I can think of is that God wants me to experience every kind of thing that could go wrong so that I can help my customers and my viewers not waste their inlay because this inlay is good. I can't show it to you because the reveal is a week from now. All I can do is just tell you that I have had major setbacks. Ellie is editing the video because I need to stay here and finish my projects. I think I have it figured out now and next week come watch next week's video because i'm going to tell you i'm going to show you my inlay i'm going to show you how to do it i did read the instructions i just decided to try my own method thinking that i could make it easier it didn't it made it harder that's just how i do things sometimes and that's the whole purpose of the party is to show everybody how amazing and fun this inlay is to use everybody's doing great Everybody is doing great except for me. I just feel like it's back in the days where I was trying to learn how to blend and everybody could do it except for me. It's just it's just kind of what happens to me. But in the end, once I do figure it out, 
I'm a really good teacher because I can tell you, don't do this, do this, do it this way so that you won't have a frustrating time and you won't waste any money or product. So Ellie said that the truck video I took was not good enough, so she wanted me to reshoot it. The whole look, let me explain the look for those of you who may not get it. I like things to tell a story. So this says somebody was hauling a load of furniture. Something happened, the truck broke down, something. And it's just been sitting on the side of the road for a very, very long time. Because it's fall, I wanna get a skeleton to drive the truck and sit in there because then it would like make sense. Like, you know, it goes with the skeleton of the furniture and the driver is also long gone. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we still have some tickets left if anybody wants to come for the launch party at the end of the month. It's happening on September 30th. Link is in the description below.